really miss my brother. I think about him every day. Mm -hmm. I think about how I want justice for my brother James. I want justice for James. It's been nine months since James Hanna was killed by police. The 59-year-old was sitting in his basement-level apartment when at 6.30 p.m. February 23rd, Edmonton police shot and killed an armed robbery suspect from a nearby liquor store, later finding it was an imitation firearm. Six police bullets entering the apartment building, one fatally wounding James Hanna. He was, uh, oh, it was so funny. He, you know, and, and really love to make people laugh. James's sister says even as he battled his own demons with severe anxiety and depression, he would still spread joy and was proud of his Métis heritage. James was 10 years sober from hard drugs and would do everything possible to help another person in Narcotics Anonymous. So James would drive them and out of his own pocket, even though he didn't have a lot. He gave what he could. But his family is still searching for answers. The Alberta Serious Incident Response Team is investigating, but unable to give a timeline on how long it will take as they deal with a large caseload, with the most recent finished case taking upwards of two years. My brother's death should not be in vain. You know, is there something that can be improved? And why is it not being addressed? Susan Bandola has hired a lawyer and is ready to sue for justice. The least they can be afforded by the police are answers. And if <laughs> it's really telling that you have to fight just to get answers. And not only that, there is no transparency as to the officers involved. Mm -hmm. Did they go straight back to work? What happened there? EPS unable to give specifics or timelines of any officers involved getting back into active duty, but say they did complete a peer-driven reintegration program and that EPS will do a review of this case after the ACERT investigation. Susan has been told the police commission, which is the civilian oversight, is also waiting for ACERT. Her main focus is an apology for her elderly father and accountability. I really, my brother is gone now. I cannot bring him back. But I think what needs to happen is that I think James would want this, that this never happened to another family. Right now, Edmonton police officers have a yearly recertification for firearms. Susan, after seeing the bullet holes in every room of her brother's apartment, thinks there needs to be more. In Edmonton, Carly Robinson, City News.